Well, no doubt about it, the nerves have been jangling in the last few days, but very soon the wait will be over. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a thrilling finale. It's Barcelona taking on Real Madrid. Well, it's been a long journey for both these teams, Derek. It's not been easy, but these players are 90 minutes away from making history for themselves. No doubt both managers will have set out their game plans and made sure every player knows exactly what their roles are. What a game we have in store for us. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Frenkie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield and the starting role on attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Carvajal starts with Ferlo Mendy in the fullback positions. And beginning the game up front today, Karim Benzema. drama begins here at the Bernabeu Kunde Araujo now with De Jong Tempele oh breezing past him and a fine stop Sending it in. Read it superbly to take back possession. Christensen. Jules Kunde on the ball. Good tackle, take it away. Plenty of support here. But timely defending when it mattered. Cassier. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Dembele. And Lewandowski in the thick of things. Oh, a strong hand on the ball. And behind it's gone for a corner. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Chances on. And it's come off the keeper. Danger averted for now. Lewandowski. Kessier has it. And room to roam for Barca on the wing. Jordi Alba. Far from a good pass. the keeper to beat but he's missed it Stuart well he went for power but he didn't make the perfect connection that's why he's missed the target there he'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball
De Jong. Really good attacking play. Now, will the cross work out for them? But it wasn't a taxing save. Well, as the stats confirm, the game hasn't got going so far and the attacking play from both sides has been really poor. But some credit must go to the defenders because they've dominated here today. Mendy. Vinicius Junior. Mendy. And Modric might fancy it. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Benzema, can they nudge in front? Oh, he saved it well. And fired over by Kors. And the keeper diving to thwart him. Not away completely. And a really good diving stop. Corner kick delivery from Tony Kroos. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Astute piece of defending. Dembele. Robert Lewandowski in the middle. And the penalty has been given here. This to make it 1-0. And the spot kick is converted as coldly as you like. Well, as you can see from the replay, the keeper tries to read the penalty, but he's sent the wrong way, and it ends up looking a very easy finish. continues another be a quick response from Real and space to exploit maybe but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end and that will be a Barca throw the referee knew that was foul play but advantage it is failure to keep the ball on the part of Real to the final 20 minutes space here for Barcelona a delivery from Dembele well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done and support available Kessier just the challenge that was required. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Sergio Busquets. And intercepted it. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, 
Still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Dembele with the cross. And a no-nonsense clearance. Now can they counter clinically? All hands on deck. Still could be dangerous. Danger averted for now. Sergio Busquets has lost it. Real Madrid attacking, and they have to give it a... Oh, I can't believe it! Twists and turns in the closing stages. And it's anyone's guess who's going to lift the trophy. Incredible. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level, and extra time is coming up. So back in business here, the first period of extra time, and it might well come down to mental fortitude. Who wants this more? Chance to run at them. Oh, fancy footwork. Well, in the final analysis, it was good defending. Valverde. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Will they profit from this situation? Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. And fired over by Kroos. Not to be this time. Possession lost. Well, those stats tell the story. Real Madrid have been on top and created lots of chances, but their finishing has been disappointing. Vinicius Junior oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Well, no stopping him. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. Well, the drama continues to unfold. Second period of extra time now. Out of play it goes, and it will be a throw-in. Federico Valverde. What a shocking pass, really. The free-kick decision goes the way of Barcelona. Well, no card, but the referee clearly indicating that he's on his last warning. Nicely timed tackle. Real Madrid sloppy in possession. Well, five minutes remaining in this the second period of extra time. Lewandowski is in position at the far post. And problem solved for now. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. At this late stage, Real Madrid doing everything in their power to grab a winner. A final that will live long in the memory. And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player, this is when you have to hold your nerve. Oh, he saved it! Clinical, as always, in front of goal. Can he get the better of the keeper? And the penalty converted here. And he scores! And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping! Oh, 
and he finds the net he could hardly miss well the responsibility is on his shoulders failure to score and they lose and confidently converted a goal now and his team will prevail the other distraught well what an end into a very good tournament and I think they fully deserve to win it maybe not in this manner though but it was great entertainment it certainly was and they're not going to forget this in a hurry a proud moment for everyone involved with the club but for their opponents it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible well I think we should give them some credit too they played their part in what was an excellent contest some of their football was brilliant Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. This is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.